Okay, so here's a review on the mode motor plans off of eBay from the gentleman in Ukraine. They're very good plans. I would highly suggest a millimeter measuring tape to go with the plans. Made it a lot easier. We've got the Predator 420, 13 horsepower on here, which does a great job. It's a 1448 John boat. And a lot of modifications I did to the plans. Plans were all in all great, but several things I had to do. First off, as you might have noticed, we got a triple roller chain in a clutch. The V belt did not work with the hoop, it just burned and slipped for the size of boat and engine. So, got the triple roller chain from nitrochain.com. The clutch, the sprockets, the tensioner sprocket. See it down there? I don't know if you can. And the bottom sprocket was all part of a replacement kit from Mud Skippers. Yes, I know I have ugly ass welds, but they hold. So, again, the triple chain works great. Probably got 25 plus miles on this, and she's doing great. The whole thing with his plans for moving the motor up and down worked okay for the v-belts but again v-belts did not hack it for this it just did not work um, ultimately it led me allowed me to do the uh, tensioner to get the chain just right though by moving it up and down and even up in here i just decided to put this bolt up to give it a little extra support um i ended up having some stripping issues with these guys I put some dampeners in here to help with the vibration. It seems to work. I cut in a plate here, access plate for that, for putting in the, for the tensioner sprocket in there. And then obviously I cut this plate in to get all the work done here. It's just way impossible to do anything without having that in there. So that, and then I just put a oil resistant sealer gasket maker on there. Gets a little bit of water in there, but not much to worry about. Um, other than that, the planes are straightforward with the seals in there, and the uh, brass oiled couplings, or brass rings, whatever you call them in there, for the plans. Had to add this piece, because a lot of weeds was getting all cut in here, so I put that there to keep the weeds out. Originally, this came down and under here, when I had the V-belts, but I wasn't sure if it was messing up my prop with a prop wash so I ended up cutting it short the plate these blades are from mud skipper as well cheap $20 aluminum plate blades I don't know why they say KKK because I think they're from Thailand or something but ended up working the best prop for me was the uh, a nine and a half weedless I started out with stainless steel and 8.4 they said for this motor and size it did not do it didn't push it worth a hoot Worked on and on and up until I got to the nine and a half weedless, and it does about upstream and a light current about 13 miles an hour, a three quarter throttle, maybe 15 full open, and about 18 full open down current. And I cruise maybe 15, so I only run at three quarter throttle. It does not bad. So, and cheap ass aluminum props. All you got to do, they are tapered for a key taper. Oops, sorry, lost the video there. They are tapered for a key. And you just, you know, I just tap them out with a die. Tap and die. It's a three-quarter tip, which is what the shaft is. Clutch works great. Again, that's from a mud skipper as well. Idles fine. No issues idling and it gets and goes. I think has plenty of torque with this motor for a whole shot. Um, if you had a bigger motor, was just more money. It's the same RPM, just more torque at the bottom. This I added as a trim. I can just lift the motor up and turn that out more. Let it go out. Versus the uh, plan, which had this guy, which is okay. It's a backup. But I've read so many reviews. With so many videos, I figured it was only share. Figured it was only fair to do one for everything I done. Maybe a guy that's going to do this again. Just ignore the ugly ass welds. And that's 
really about it. So hopefully that will help anybody else that's looking at building one. Again, the chain, all the sprockets for mud skipper motors, mud motors, the chain itself. The one that came with the kit was way too small, so I had to get one from a nitro chain. They were uh, easy to work with. I think it was like $120. It was like 10 foot of chain. So I'm going to order some extra keys for it. <coughs> Control throttle was try to twist, it didn't want to work, it was uncomfortable. That's just a basic throttle. I ordered off of Amazon, works great. Plane, plane boat has plenty of turn in it, it'll do a donut easily as far as she goes. sharp even got room I could actually put some extra float on the back of the boat as I've considered and I've ran through six inches of water done it a little bit of work so it does it did it fine with two people in light gear does an awesome job Yes, I did have to drill this right through the transom. If you can see it. It's a big rubber stopper thing there. It just moves in and out. Whether I'm going in the shallows or if I'm just cruising in deeper water, I'll drop it down so it runs a bit deeper. And move it up for going through the weeds and the shallows. Haven't gotten anywhere yet. She hasn't been able to cut through and go. Like I said as shallow as six inches. I ran. So hopefully again, someone hasn't. Maybe they can uh, find some of this useful. But as much as I've used on, I was watching and reading. I figured it was only fair. And the guy's plans are great. Right down to the T, most of the parts I ordered was uh, from the websites he suggested for the metal. And a few things from McMaster Car. Ultimately, half, most of the stuff in there I didn't use just because it was pulleys and so forth, which I didn't end up liking. The clutch makes a huge difference, otherwise this thing is taking off as soon as you crank it up if you don't have a clutch on there. Some people can say they don't like clutches. I, I think it's great. The chain versus a timing belt. Everywhere I read and was, they said timing belts are so sensitive to adjustments. If you don't have them perfect, they break. At $100 a piece, as seemed a little ridiculous. So and that chain's tough as hell, and there's zero slippage. So. If anybody has any questions, I'll try to check back now and then on it and see. Just ignore any uh, trolling comments about bad welds, but again, they're ugly as hell, but they hold.